Hello friends, very good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Talent Traders. Those who are new to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe the channel to get more update on intraday and positional trading strategies. And this video, I am going to discuss about the stock selection for tomorrow. So based on candlestick pattern, so by using charting scanners and screeners. So before going to the video. Again, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe it. And uh, thanks for support. We are uh, increasing our subscribers. Thank you for your uh, support and subscribing my channel. And uh, we already uh, posted about our previous results. So now uh, we will go to find out what are the stocks which is present for our uh, tomorrow's trade. Let me go to check it out by using the charting scanners. Uh, let me open our uh, charting uh, scanner and I'm going to open uh, the stock selection for tomorrow scan so let's see only tickium it's about shooting star at daily so only one can one stock which is filtered so we focusing um, by doji at the top and doji at bottom and same like that shooting star at top and a hammer candle with the two different uh, variate variant we used for the finding out uh, stocks for tomorrow so the tickium we find out the stock which forms a shooting star for tomorrow's trade. So let me get it out. We didn't get any stocks which find a, a hammer or doji. Let's look at this. It wasn't a perfect doji which is happening at highest level. So let's see the trend is. It's going up on the train and at the end of that trend. So we find a reversal candle. So the main uh, concept where we are using this candlestick pattern is to find out the reversal at the highest level as well as lowest level of the trend. So it is already moving higher and higher which the slope is uh, keep on going up and we find there is a reversal candle at the top level. So let me calculate what are the levels for the stock. The high of the day is around 1135. And the low is 1100. So that is what the range for a stock where we are going to focus the stocks to take a trade. So it has 35 points risk. So the high for the day is double one three five and the low for the day is one one double zero. So if the stock breaks tomorrow the low of that particular candle, we can go for a selling on that because it is already moves in a top. There is a reversal candle which present at the top. So we may expecting there is a reversal in that particular stocks once it is breaks the previous day low. That low is around 1100. So if it is break that 1100, we are going to make a sell trade and we keep the stop loss. So here is my selling entry. I'm going to focus for a selling entry at 1100 and my stop loss is around 1100. 35 is my stop. So I'm I'm not focusing for a uh, trend continuation on the stocks. Why I'm not focusing for a trend continuation? Because the trend continuation it is already in the top. So even if I'm going to buy the stock at that that level, so it not may be good because it is already moved higher. And if I'm going to try to buy at a trend continuation, maybe I'm getting a small profit. If it is suddenly reversed from the top, means it have the ability to. Uh, down or it, it can retrace by uh, 50% means it, it can come down this level but we have stop loss but I don't want to buy the stock at even the topest level so that is what the, my main concept only the sell entry I am focusing it for this is the level where I am going to focus at uh, double one double zero if tomorrow breaks so I can go for a short kind of trade that is what the stock which we have filtered by based on the scanners even we use lot of scanners right so we cannot apply all the scanners uh, uh, to find a stocks so the only few stocks is good enough to focus for a day trading so only one so based on our stock selection scanners and we created some uh, scanners like a uh, uh, hammer shooting star so recently we created by using this we can find out let's see take my camera z1 which is the uh, forms a um, shooting star right and same like that IEX. IEX also forming a shooting star. Let me go for that. Why it is not filtered by our scanner? Because 
it is not happening at the highest level or the lowest level let's check it out so this hammer which is present in between the train so that is what the condition which i mentioned let's see this is the in between the train that is forming maybe this is also giving you such a great opportunity once it is breakdown but if you are keeping a recent high as a stop we are facing a big stop but if you are focusing this candle alone so our stop loss would be 170 so our entry point nearby 163 so almost 7 rupees is the risk for the stock but this is also be a perfect shooting star which is present on that particular stock so this uh, value that higher week as well as the lower week we calculated by number three so that that is also be a shooting star stocks which is present so let's we'll check it out even less number so if i'm making a two number two even we can get more number of stocks let me say uh larson and tobro uh city union bank and scl take so these are the three stocks that is also forming a shooting star but the week the upper week as only two times greater than the the body let's say let's check it out hcl take whether it is good or not hcl technologies let's say this is also forming at the topest level let's see this is, looks good so here so how the candlesticks works well so the doji at the bottom once the market is crossed above the doji let's say this is what our profit but our risk is less than this candle or this is what the risk so let's see the reward it was like this but it's not about intraday but if you are taking a trade by next to day here it should be your entry and the same day it moves well so intraday it works well but if you see positional how it is giving you such a great opportunity from somewhere around 890 it went up to 980 so near about 90 points where it is given you maybe the stop loss maybe four or five rupees or a, uh, max not maximum 10 rupees let me check what was the stop loss on this doji is 897 885 12 rupees is the stop so for the 12 rupees it moves almost near about and 90 rupees plus so that we see why i am taking this doji because after a big trend i am focusing for a trend reversal but the trend reversal happened if sometimes the trend may not be reversed after breaking the entry point that is not an issue we are losing very minimum but the trend got reversed at the bottom let's say the result so same like that this is also another uh, good one so at the top we find out a shooting star in scl technologies but the candle uh, the entry point for that scl technologies is somewhere around sorry uh, scl take uh, we will find out the data price range so 987 966 almost 22 plus so 21 22 rupees is the rest so here also i'm expecting the reversal down down reversal i'm expecting in the stock by entry is 966 is my sell entry that is what previous day low and that stop loss which i'm focusing is out 987 for this trade if i take it out so near about 21 points it's not about intraday but even if it is break the low by tomorrow make may have the chances it can give you profit but it's a positional reversal which i'm focusing it for a positional kind of reversal at the top level once it is giving you there is a good opportunity same like that here you can see there is a shooting star but it is not a top but nearby top all right but even we are focusing the top level reversal will it give you some good opportunity to take a trade so that is another stock which is scl take also looks good for tomorrow's trade right and after that tech came and scl take is the good stocks for tomorrow's trade and larson and tubro uh, lnt will go for a lnt sorry lti lti is the shooting star candle again lti looks good but this high is 5046 this high is 5019 this is what a top level around 5046 is the top level but this high recent high is around this candle high is 5019.95 almost 5020 but this is also looks like at the topest level another stock which we are finding out that lti uh, lnt to bro larson and to bro in photo so that is a sale entry point where we are going to focus for a sale entry at that level of 4870 so that is what a key level where if tomorrow breaks 
so we can go for a shot on that so here all our shooting star candle that is what bearish reversal so shooting star candle we are focusing for a bearish reversal so i am not going to focus for a trend continuation here some some candles we use for a trend continuation that is what a different kind of candlesticks pattern so this is also be looks good and 5020 should be our stop level almost uh, 70 oh it's giving you more than 100 150 points stop loss 4870 because the large uh, large says the stock price is high up nearby 5000 so we are taking around uh, 4870 and the stop loss of 5020 is the stop loss that is what another one and iex we already seen and city union bank let's check it out how the city union bank looks and that is also works better the body of the candle is two times higher this is also be good for tomorrow's trade so a lot of stocks which is we are finding for a reversal but here 174 and 185 so almost 10 rupees so this is what uh, forming a 10 rupees 175 4.9 is our entry point and stop loss is 185.70 so all the stocks looks good at the top so there is a reversal will be possible on this stocks these are the stocks which we can go for focus tomorrow we have the chances to make profit from the stock if it was reversed by breaking the previous day low so it would be the best strategy best stock for tomorrow to trade all right i hope you understand what was the logic we are used for selection of the stocks i think it may be useful to you all and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe it if you like this video hit the like button and share to your friends if you liked it and if you have any questions or a comment just comment on the comment box thank you for watching this video and thank you very much